many tribes still live in the area. That means the national park is inside many more seen there. That means the paintings, you uh, see some uh, rock paintings, uh, animals hunting pictures uh, there, animals, uh, some things, uh, some red tails, uh, skin, uh, then hairs, uh, hair, uh, horns, uh, beak, uh, these are stored in uh, some areas. Uh, these have to visit uh, and see the people. Then next process is project tiger. Project tiger means uh, sometimes uh, um, tiger's life is very dangerous there. Then they have to um, human beings uh, hunting and killing tigers. Uh, their um, life is so um, not suitable there. That time uh, tigers found is less there. This this uh, how to improve their life. That is, and doing a project there. This is project of Tiger. The objective of this project was to ensure the survival and maintenance of the Tiger population in the country. And what is the purpose of uh, Project Tiger? And maintenance and population of the Tiger in the country. And then animals whose numbers are diminishing to a level that they might face uh, extinction are known as the endangered animals. Endangered animals means uh, some animals found is less there. Their life is uh, one or three years stopped there and their found is less there. This type of animals and plants are called uh, an endangered species. In our first class we study and uh, endemic species means uh, in particular related some uh, plants and animals. See these type of animals are called uh, endemic species. Endangered animals means uh, some animals' life is not long. Their uh, family members are lesser, their counting also lesser. Then, example of some other animals are uh, then bison, uh, wild buffalo, then etc. Then, survival of some animals has uh, become difficult because of disturbance in their natural habitat. Then, Professor Ahmed tells them that in order to protect plants and animals, strict rules are imposed in all national parks. Human activities such as grazing, poaching, hunting, capturing of animals, or collection of firewood, medicinal plants, etc., are not allowed. Then, at times, we kill snakes, frogs, lizards, bats, and owls, ruthlessly without reducing their importance in the ecosystem. That means, in our ecosystem, small plants, insects, small animals, insects, then some all are important in our ecosystem. By killing them, they are harming ourselves. They might be small in size, but their role in the ecosystem cannot be ignored. They form uh, part of food chains and food works uh, about which you learn in class uh, 7. Food chain and food uh, work you already studying. That means uh, grass and uh, rabbit. This uh, rabbit uh, eating, uh, grass eating rabbit, rabbit eating, then other animals, uh, these other animals eat uh, more big animals. Uh, this type of chain process is called the food work. An ecosystem is made of all the plants and uh, Microorganisms in an area along with the non living components such as primates, soil, the rivers, deltas, etc. In, uh, in our ecosystem, mainly, con non mainly consists of animals and plants, no? it consists of some non living things, example, climate, soil, these are also included in ecosystem. Next, we study red data book. You hear this word red data book. Red data book. Red data book means is the good source book which keeps a record of all the endangered animals and plants. In your example, in your classroom, your classroom you have a register there. Your who is coming today, who is there, you have to check in how many days you are sending class or then how many percent in class. This type of another type book there, that red data book, it contains endangered animals and plants sources. 
this is this book contained endangered animals and plants sources then red data book is maintained internationally by an organization india also maintain red data book for plants and animals found in india the next thing is study migration this already study in seventh class what is meaning of migration migration to represent the um, some birds and animals uh, we see in one climate example polar bear polar bear is uh, only icy area or cold region then some animals live in cannot live in cold region or summer or winter season this type of animals or plant uh, birds go next place their suitable habitat of place is searching this type of process is called migration when example is migratory birds some birds are um, their suitable uh, or can be seen place to search and go another place this type of process is called migration then migratory birds migrate to far away areas every year during a particular time because of climatic changes they fly for laying eggs as the weather in their natural habitat becomes very really cold and in hospital birds who cover long distance to reach other land area known as migratory birds then migratory birds in cold season they can search another places then next in study recycling of paper recycling of paper means we use this paper this paper again is how to use this that means it takes 70 full drawn leaves to make one ton of paper you have to see in india this for again sir one paper is making we got 70 trees then professor ahmed also tells that paper can be recycled five to seven times for us if each student saves at least one sheet of paper in a day we can save many trees in a year we use one paper save one paper we save one tree then we should save this use and use paper and recycle it by this we not only save trees but also save energy and water needed for manufacturing paper then moreover the amount of harmful chemicals used in paper making will also be reduced then we less use there we use chemicals type of paper next we study reforestation in first portion uh, we discuss deforestation and in the last portion we discuss reforestation deforestation means cutting of trees then what is reforestation deforestation is restocking uh, of the destroyed forest by planting new trees deforestation means cutting of trees reforestation means planting new trees and the planted trees should generally be of the same species which were found in the forest we should plant at least as many trees as we cut you have to do this one you cut one tree then we plant one then reforestation can take place naturally also if the deforested area is left undisturbed it will reestablish itself in natural reforestation there is no all of human beings we have already caused tremendous damage to our forest if we have to retain our green wealth for future generations plantation of more trees is only option that means in our next generation also you see this type of plants and animals this is some one part is we have to make a new planting that means planting is the or plantation of the only source then some act in india uh, we have the forest or conservation act this act is aimed at the preservation and conservation of natural forests and meeting the basic needs of the people living on near the forest then after some trust to normal care for children to stand headings by because it is not advisable to stay in the jungle after sunset on waiting by then they uh, go to their places because in sunset time of the people in the forest in this class we are studying deforestation 
rectangles, those cut, trees, you have to cut trees, so you plant a new tree. Then next study, reforestation is important in your life. That means you have to put new planted trees or planting is the main option of the next generation. You have to this year more fertile trees. Next generation don't use this type of uh, natural resources. Okay.